Okay, guys and gals, here we are back in the infamous computer room again. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I've had to do this carving over again from scratch. I thought I'd do a little explanation closer up here where you can see it. When I sprayed this, I didn't spray enough polyurethane on it, obviously. And in the process of trying to sand down all the overspray and absorption that was on the wood here in the name well where is it the L's I had to sand so much that I sand the letter completely out and sanded the paint out of the letter so <laughs> no good so this is being recarved as we speak so I thought I would shoot this little short clip to let you know that there's going to be a part three of this video. I know I said it would shoot in a two-part series, but because of a little uh-oh on my part, I'm going to make a part three. I'm going to go ahead and upload these clips up to this point. And uh, when I get the other one to a point where it's ready to be finished, we'll pick up there on it. So just a little explanation of what we're doing and why there's going to be a part three. So. Uh, Onto the video. Okay, make sure my microphone's on. It is on. And uh, we're ready to start part two here of <coughs> my uh, anniversary plaque construction completion. We're up to where I paint the letters. Now, what I do is I just take an old 16 ounce uh, water bottle, cut it roughly in half. Take my black aerosol spray here. Spray a appropriate amount of paint into this container, and uh, just start painting. And again, this is something I don't have to be extra extra careful with, but it helps to try and not get more paint spread around than what I have to sand off the main thing is just to be sure and get paint fully down into the lettering here and then i've got all the sides painted nothing looks worse when i sand this thing down and sand it off and i look down there and i can see the sides of the wood that i didn't get paint on it so It's more dabbing than it is painting, I think, but the point is to fill this up and get paint everywhere I want it. And what spills over on the sides is not a problem. Hopefully it'll all sand off when, when I come back and sand it later. And this is just the tedious task of sitting here doing this until I get done, one letter at a time. Now, I've double checked, actually triple checked, my audio to make sure it was on <clears throat> after my beautiful file ups yesterday. I'm not turning my microphone on. Sometimes I just don't know where my head is. Sometimes it's just not in the game. And it seems like the older I get, the worse that becomes. I don't know if the doctors can make something of that or not, but my doctor wife can diagnose all of it. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. She'll watch this video and then get upset because <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke, dear. <clears throat> but anyhow, this is what I do. I just sit here and go after it until I, nothing left to go after. So, 
instead of me sitting here and running this video and you watching me paint black paint into these letters I think I will shut the video down for now go ahead and finish painting this and when I'm done painting I will show you the results of that prior to sanding. I've got to paint all this and then let it dry and uh, overnight at least 12 hours yeah, there's what I'm talking about right there I looked down there and I saw some bare wood that's where it gets you if you're not careful the sides of the woods where it's carved down if you don't uh, get in there just right it'll be blank and it don't look like much now but when you sand this thing down and you got nothing left but the paint down in the letters it'll stand out like a sore thumb on you it'll stick up and it says here I am you miss me dummy that's what it'll do and you got the choice of leaving it like that I'm going back painting it again so I'll go ahead and stop the recording and we'll be back with you shortly okay fellas guys and gals uh, here it is sometime later uh, <laughs> this doesn't look real pretty but hopefully when I'm all done it'll come out alright this is what it looks like after I've painted it hold it still James and uh, now all I can do is let that uh, paint dry overnight. I've got some what I call spider veining. I don't know if I should have put another coat or two of polyurethane on this. I'll just have to wait and see until I sand it down and uh, see if I can sand what little bit I see going out, if I can sand that out. If not, the only recourse is to run it through the uh, thickness planer cut off that top level of wood where that ink is and re-sand it and see if there's enough of the lettering left to have some depth to it redo the reroute the edge and all that and then respray it hopefully that'll fix the problem and if that don't fix the problem the only recourse I have is to start over and redo it all from scratch again which I really don't want to do but uh, We'll just have to see how it comes out. Now I've got the other one up here I need to do. I've got two plaques I'm doing on this order, so I need to get this one done too. So won't bore you to death with that, filming that. Same thing as this, painting the letters, getting paint everywhere. I think I've got about the same amount of polyurethane on this board as I got on this board. Now this wood, each piece absorbs differently. Even when I get the wood out of the same length of wood, uh, sometimes different sections of wood absorb the paint at different rates I just you just never know it's, it's kind of a guessing game so uh, that's the next thing is let this dry do this other piece and uh, when that's all done uh, I'll have to I'll have to uh, let it all dry overnight get it good and dry and cured and then I'll come out and sand it tomorrow I think it's Saturday so I'll sand it on Saturday and see what it looks like hopefully it'll come out okay and then I can just go ahead and do the finished spray of polyurethane that I do on it and it'll be ready for delivery but uh, time will tell so I'll uh, stop the video for now and we'll be back with you shortly all right folks here's the uh, completed painting project and I just wanted to check to make sure that I've got paint on all the sides oops there's a spot I missed right there so you don't know till you look get these edges for some reason they want to uh, not get paint on them but you just got to turn this thing every which way and look make sure 
you got paint on all the sides it's just as soon as you miss one when you sand that puppy down it's going to stand out like a sore thumb ask me how I know you wouldn't think this would be so difficult to get this done but Oh, I miss that whole edge there. You wouldn't think this would be this difficult. It's just paint, right? But if it can have a bare spot, it'll be there. I went through this a while ago and looked and didn't see all these and now I'll come back and look again and here they are just everywhere. Isn't that something? I guess that's why I looked twice and three times to make sure that uh, I've gotten everything. Because once I sand it off it's a little too late. Well, it's not, I can always paint it again, but then again, it just doubles my time because I've got to let this paint cure for 12, 16 hours overnight. Usually overnight, a good 12 hours anyway. Get in there. <sighs> Being difficult. being difficult well I just can't believe I missed that much already Good thing I went back and looked on this then. I'd have been real disappointed the time I got around to sanding it down. Again, this piece has got a lot of spider veining, as I call it. I don't know what other people call it, but uh, where the uh, paint is spreading out into the fibers of the wood come on get down in there there we go edge here and there paint just doesn't want to get on it Always fun to get down here nice and close to it and breathe all this paint fumes. Woo! Spin you right up. Make you real happy. Or real sick. Alright. After all the stuff I found on that one, I'd better go back and double check this one. Yep, yeah, sure enough. There it sits, just bigger in life. Boy. 
Makes you wonder, did you paint this, James? I thought I had finished this one. Oh well, that's why you do this. Go back and look again. Amazing what you can find when you look for it. Well, y'all excuse me if I'm boring you to death here with this, but this has got to be done and I got the camera running. I'm not going to get up and cut it off, so just bear with me. But this is all part of the process. I'm going to show you what I do and how I do it. This is part of it. these little pieces of edge that I missed that paint didn't get on for one reason or the other. And the only way I can do it is to get down here my nose right in it like this and look. That's the only way I'm going to find it. And it's just the little bitty pieces. I mean, it's, it's, it's infinitesimal in size, but when I get this sanded out, regardless of how small it is, that's what's going to stick out like a sore thumb. It'll just be just sitting there going, ha, 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 you missed me, you missed me. And of course the finished product won't look as good as it should look. Alright. I think that's about it. Let's see here. Oops, there's another spot. Just the spot, but that's all it takes. It doesn't take but just a spot to stand out like a sore thumb. And you all know what a sore thumb looks like. I don't have to explain that to you, do I? Come on, get in there. It's like some of these spots just don't want a sore paint.
Oh, hi. Right. It's a good thing I went back and looked at this for a third time, isn't it? All right, okay, I believe I've got all the spots now that didn't have paint on them before. we are the two products that now need to sit overnight let them fully cure let that paint fully cure and then I'll come back tomorrow or the next day whenever and I will take the sander to it and sand all this excess off okay thought I missed a spot but I didn't Sand all that excess off. Check it out. Make sure everything's good and all the paint's where it needs to be and not, and not where I don't want it. And once I get it to that point, then I'll respray it with another coat of polyurethane to seal it, to seal it. And of course, I got to spray the backs too to seal that. But I only put oh two, three coats on the back to seal it. Where well, the front will have five, six, up to eight coats. It just depends. Uh, get it nice, shiny, and presentable. Uh, but that's it. Now all I do is clean up my paint here. This little bit of paint that's left in there, I'll take a paper towel, stuff that down in there, put it in a plastic bag, wrap it shut, and throw it out in the trash. And I've got some paint thinner over here. I'll put my paintbrush in it and uh, get it cleaned up after it's soaked in paint thinner for a while. And that's it for uh, this... Uh, video session uh, we'll uh, stop the filming now and uh, I'll come back tomorrow when we're back to doing the sanding part and we will uh, show that to you show you how we do that and what we do and uh, see how that comes out so for now this is a DIY woodworker and we will talk to you again soon have a nice day well heck it helps when you push the record button folks anyhow here we are the DIY CNC woodworker with you again I'm in the middle of sanding, or starting to sand these boards. Hopefully all this excess paint's gonna come off. And I'll be left with just the paint down in the letters, which is what I want. And uh, we'll see how that happens. I think I need to I think what I need to do is get me another sanding pad. This one's pretty well wore out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video. And at this point, all I'm doing is sanding. You've seen people sand before. You don't need to sit there and watch me sand for 30 to 45 minutes trying to get this board ready to respray. But this is where we're at. Uh, we got the board We got the board painted. It's all dried. Now I'm in the process of trying to sand all this off. It's going to be a little extra work on this board, I think, but I think I'm going to be okay on it. At least I hope I am. And uh, we'll come back to you here in a few minutes to show you uh, the sanded board, what it looks like after I've got it sanded prior to spraying it again with polyurethane. And then, of course, after it's sprayed with polyurethane, I'll show you the finished product. So we'll be back shortly with you. Okay, guys. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to redo this second plaque. Uh, Boy, I had to sand so much, I got down into the lettering here and completely sanded the ink out of the letter. It's flush here. So I had to, I was just gonna have to redo this one. Unfortunately, that's, and put, when I do this, when I spray it with polyurethane, I'll have to put multiple more coats. I put, I think, three on here. I probably have to put five, if not six, coats of polyurethane on here before I do the lettering. Uh, I got down into the L's here, so 
I don't know if you can see that if that's showing up, but that's just completely wiped out the L trying to get all this excess spill over uh, ink that went into the wood uh, fibers grain. It's unfortunate I got to do it again, but I've got to do it again. This is a paid uh, paid plaque. And I can't deliver it like this, so guess I will stop what I'm doing now and go into the computer room and well I got to cut another piece of wood out here to begin with and then go in the computer room and recut this and uh, tomorrow the next day uh, after I've uh, put several coats of polyurethane on it I will repaint it let it dry so instead of having this done tomorrow it'll be middle of next week before these are done and I can ship them out. Now, that's unfortunate, but uh, those things happen. So uh, I was kind of concerned about the amount of polyurethane I put on these plaques. I thought three coats would be enough, but uh, on this particular one it wasn't. Like I said, this wood, you just never know how, it, how it's going to absorb the paint and uh, how it's going to react. It's kind of a shot in the dark type thing with me. This is the first time I've had this problem. Uh, I've made several of these, I don't know how many, but a bunch, and uh, I had more trouble with the sanding on these than the other ones. Now that one sanded okay, it looks good, it's okay, I can go ahead and spray it with polyurethane and, and put it aside to let it cure and dry, dry and cure I should say. But this one I've got to uh, do over. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll move the camera around. and. Uh, I'll spray this one here and you can see the reaction, what it looks like after I've sprayed it. Let's see, where am I here? You tilt this camera down. Oh, there we are over there, okay. I'll go ahead and move this to here. Are we still in the shot? Yeah, okay. Again, this polyurethane just makes this thing just really pop. And when I spray the polyurethane on the letters, it makes that paint, that paint shine. And it really looks good. Okay, I'll let that cure. And dry up and cure and a couple more coats on it to help seal it. Or to make it shine more. Let's do a little close up on that. see what that looks like there you go so that's what the finished product will look like after I put a couple more coats on it all right folks that's it for now we'll be back with you shortly okay folks uh, this is the DIY woodworker here with you uh, if you haven't noticed I've got an expression here that I've used throughout this video and I've used it multiple times. I didn't realize how much I did use it until I looked back. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a little contest. And uh, what I want to do is uh, you to watch the video. One, tell me what the expression is that I use. And two, how many times I use it in this video. And if you are the singular person that calls in and tells me what this is on my uh, YouTube page, uh, you will be the winner. If there's more than one entry or more than one person that comments on this, I will take uh, however many names I get, put them all in a, a bowl or a hat or something, and shake them up and let my wife draw out a name, and that name will be the winner, and I will give you one of these anniversary plaques made out for you with uh, your name and your wife's name and and uh, your anniversary date on it. Uh, and I will mail that to you. So uh, if you want one of these anniversary plaques, this is the deal. Tell me what the uh, expression is and how many times I used it throughout this video. 
And uh, I'm going to let this run up till uh, December the 25th, uh, Christmas Day. That's 15 days from now. The day's uh, December the 10th. So i got 15 days to collect entries, and uh, I will collect all the entries I get on my uh, YouTube page. And uh, the winner will be drawn from that. So if you like one of these plaques and you want to participate, by all means, please share. Thank you.